Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, September 14th. Let us minister to our brethren. God's command to love each other is required of everyone. Showing mercy to one another mirrors His redemptive plan. In compassion He has given of His love that is divine. On the cross sins were forgiven, joy and peace are fully thine. Let us minister to our brethren. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3. Christ identifies his interests with the interests of his brethren on the earth. He said to those on the left hand, I was in hunger, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. And they answered, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, or thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? And Christ declares, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. The persons that our Lord condemned were not aware that they had dealt unjustly with their brethren. Satan had so blinded their perceptions that they did not conceive what they owed to their brethren. They might have understood their duty. The word of God was full of instruction on this very point. But instead of searching the scriptures and doing according to the words of God, they were simply neglectful hearers. When you are tempted to find fault with your brethren, take your Bible and read what that says. For right in the church you are dealing with Christ in the person of his saints. You do not want to be among those who are blinded to the grievousness of their sin, and who, when they are rebuked, ask, When saw we thee thus? They do not comprehend how they have mistreated their Lord. On the other hand, those who have fulfilled their obligation to their fellow men are received into the favor of heaven. Every word of love, every act of kindness, even the cup of cold water that has been given in the name of Christ is recognized and rewarded. Now, let us seek Christ for ourselves and find him precious to our souls. Let us minister to our brethren, both in and out of the church. It is our privilege to be constantly strengthening those around us and shedding an influence that will bless and elevate. Do not sow the seeds of envy, strife, and doubt. Let your conversation be holy before God. Seek in every way that you may grow up into a fit temple for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. You must be living stones, reflecting and emitting the light of heaven. The truth of God has quarried you out of the world to be squared and hewed and fitted for the heavenly building. The robe of your character must be washed till it is spotless in the fountain opened for all uncleanness. Your moral worth will be weighed in the balances of the sanctuary, and if you are found wanting, you will be at an eternal loss. All the coarseness, all the roughness must be removed from your character before Jesus comes, for when he comes, the preparation for every soul is ended. If you have not laid aside your envy, your jealousies, your hatred, one against another, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You would only carry the same disposition with you, but there will be nothing of this character in the world to come. Nothing will exist there but love and joy and harmony. Some will have brighter crowns than others, 
but there will be no jealous thoughts in any heart among the redeemed. Each one will be perfectly satisfied, for all will be rewarded according to their work. For they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. Every one will know that those who have been instrumental in winning souls to Jesus have engaged in the greatest work that ever employed the powers of man. Oh, shall we not bend every energy to this great and noble work, not seeking to destroy and tear down, but by every word and act, with all the tact and influence at our command, seek to save and build up others in the most holy faith. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. We are approaching the time when the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And we must make haste to depart from all iniquity, that our calling and election may be made sure. We are looking for new heavens and a new earth, wherein the righteous shall dwell throughout eternity. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. This passage was taken from the Signs of the Times, February 10th, 1888. Our Daily Bread, September 14th. Have a blessed Sabbath. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.